Show, transforming lives one story at a time. If you would like to be a guest or become a part of our live studio audience or even to become a sponsor, just go to www.nickyclocknetwork.com. Uh, this is a very a special segment of the show. Uh, we have um, un, deux, trois, quatre, four cooks here. <laughs> and uh, the main cook is the owner of uh, Yummy Cakes and Cupcakes. Uh, please welcome Mala Sadev. <laughs> All right. So, who do we have here on uh, the most... Uh, Marie Francis, Marie all the way from Nova Scotia. All right, Marie yeah. Francis, welcome. <laughs> and Regina? Yes. Regina's Gina. a friend. Okay, welcome her. All right, so uh, let, let's uh, do a little, a little background. I want to find out how long have you been baking? I've actually been baking for about eight years now. I started off in, I believe, around 2008, if uh, my calculations are right. And I started because my mother-in-law, she used to make black cake. Mmm, black you know? cake, yes. Mm. Yeah. That so is one of my favorites. Nice. She used to make them because she's a pastor and she used to give it out to the church. Nice. So okay. then I just started making my own and then I just took it up another step and said, hey, you know what, let me just try making custom cakes and it just happened and it went very well. So now I'm here. Awesome. Now the black cake is uh, the typical West Indian yeah. cake and has a little bit of uh, what we like, eh? A little Not bit a of little. A, lot. <laughs> a lot of rum, right? And and this is uh, like a prototype of a cake that yes, you, it is. you would make. Is this for a wedding or what? What particular um, occasion would this? This be? one was actually used for someone's book lunch. <laughs> okay. She was actually on your show. Yeah. So yeah. I used it for her book lunch. So I make these kind of cakes also for weddings, communions, birthday parties, sweet 16. And can you eat the shoe? Everything is edible. Oh my Flour, goodness. the sign. That is genius. Except this. Except the little uh, yeah. trimmings, the bling. But we can make them edible. Okay. You request it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you are self-taught basically. Self with a little bit of help from your mom. From, from my mother-in-law and from my mom, yes, okay. from both of them. Okay. And right. YouTube. And, and YouTube, that's always a great place. Uh, so what kind of services do you offer in your company? Um, anything like we cater to corporate events, uh, like I said, to even birthday parties, graduations, restaurants. We do catering for um, banquet, hall parties, you know, how they want a sweet table, anything like that. So right. we do a lot. We're very versatile. Okay. Anything you want, even if there's something I don't do myself, if you give me the recipe or you say, hey, this is what I want you to do for me, I will do it for you. What was the craziest request someone gave you to do? Um, the craziest would be an adult cake. Oh, okay, say no more. The children in the room. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next question. <laughs> uh, so you have um, some cupcakes yes, I do. here, and uh, you have some great help. So what are we going to do? We're going to decorate? We're going to decorate, and we're going to have these two young ladies mm -hmm. also decorate with me after. So I'm going to go ahead and show them how to do a little Let's have some decorating rose. music. Yes. Maestro? So I'm using a 1M tip, if anybody ever wants to know. Okay, what, what flavor is that, by the way? It's this one is a vodka buttercream. Oh, it's very light. Vodka. Yeah. I like vodka. On a vanilla, vanilla bean a cupcake. So do you have to have like a special tension? Sorry, I'm making you <laughs> like, I want to get this going. Well, you've got to be very loose with it, because if you're too tight with it, then it won't come out the way you want it to. Can I try? Yeah. I've never done this before, ever. You so can what, take over. what do you need to do? You just kind of hold it at the end here? Yeah. Ladies, you want to try and with me? just go around it. Okay, so... Encourage me. Go, you can do it. Hey, I can do this. Around just go the, all the way around the tip. Oh, I am not doing too good. <laughs> all right, I'll eat this one. And then we have this silver balls if you'd like to put them in there. Why does mine look different? I also, do, I also have teaching classes, so feel oh, free to come by. <laughs> you like the well, icing. Yours is good. Yours is really good. And you then like the icing. These balls are to put over it. little, okay, and the sugar. Right? Yeah, sugar balls. Oh, sugar covered oh, little silver. Well, I like bling, so this part I think I can do well at. Yeah. And what type of flavor is the uh, That's the cake? vanilla buttercream. Vanilla buttercream. Mm -hmm. So you make everything from scratch? Everything from scratch. Okay. And everything is always fresh, nothing frozen. Okay. Yeah. 
How are you doing over there? It's coming. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Let me try one more time just to redeem myself. So again, I do do classes for children as well. Ooh. I'm located in Ajax. So if anyone, anyone here <laughs> you need any assistance? Why is she uh, <laughs> holding my shoulder? Yes, okay, I knew I do need a little bit of assistance, but I think I'm getting better. Now You're doing a very good job. This one is really good. This one is? Yeah. Awesome. My second one. You guys are doing okay. great. <laughs> All right, here are some silver balls. Decorate away. I'm just go. gonna, oh, one, one run away. Actually, both of them run away. So, Mala, where can people find you to um, You can contact learn me how to do at this. Uh, yummycakesandcupcakes.com. Sorry, dot, yes, dot com, or yummycakesandcupcakes at hotmail.ca. Or you can contact me through my phone number, which is 647-746-4784. Okay, fantastic. All right. Um, Y'all ready? You want to try? Yeah. Let's try this together. You want to hold up your favorite cupcake? All right. Do you want to try the one that I put together? All right. Ready to go? Okay. All right, this ready? is for Cheers. yummy cakes and cupcakes. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God, this is good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's awesome. Mala Sajab. Yeah. The Nikki Clark <laughs> Show, transforming lives one story at a time. If you would like to be a guest or become a part of our live studio audience or even to become a sponsor, just go to www.nikkiclarknetwork.com. Welcome back. Uh, we have, uh, an, a, she's a very talented author. Uh, welcome, Anna Anita, to the show. <laughs> welcome. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I, uh, I'm very happy that you're here. Uh, you've got some wonderful things to share about uh, the love trilogy of books that you, you have, and I, you have another book on the way. But I like that. I just received a present from you. You've got uh, Love Stones. Mm -hmm. And what I pulled out, because it's my favorite color, purple, my first love. So I feel that this is on its way. So thank you for that. Um, but I have to say that you're the first person who's given me a bio in the form of a poem. Never had that ever in my uh, experience. And I'd like to read a little bit okay, of it, yeah. if that's okay. Mm -hmm. So the bio begins. God doubled my loss. I came to my loss. Everything I had, everything I knew, was now gone. A dream in the night. I awake, it's all a dream. A vapor in the night. I could not hold on to the passing clouds. They appear unattainable. I tried to grasp on, I closed my hands, my open hands empty, the wind blows away. My dreams, I close my hands, I make a fist, I'm angry, I punch the ground, I fall to my knees, I cry out to God, God help me, I lie on the ground. And there's more, it's just beautiful. <laughs> So when I'm reading that, I, I'm definitely getting the message that there's loss, yes. uh, there's a connection with spirituality. Uh, so tell me a little bit about your background. Well, um, I have a grade 10 education, no training. I had a dollar in my pocket and I wrote four books about love in four years. Wow. I wrote, I finished my fifth book all about love and um, love is, actually I've written five books about love. And um, when I had nothing, God gifted me with writing. That's basically what happened to my story. Okay. I never wrote before that. You never wrote before? No. What did you do before that? I was married for a very long time. And I didn't know how to turn a computer on. I never yeah. worked. And yeah. then I got divorced. And you had to start over? I, had to, I, I started from scratch. OK. And yeah. um, I wrote five books in five years. I think that's amazing. <laughs> 
also during this time, I wrote my love stones, which are these with individual love quotes that are selling in stores. They're in art galleries. They're in chapters in the go. And um, one day at, at a bookstore, actually, I kicked a pebble. There was a happy face on it. And this inspired me to write on stones. OK, so this is your creation. Yes, these are my creations. Yes. All right. And, and you? Uh, I, I, I write, these are my quotes on them. And your it's my quotes. design. Beautiful. Wow. Thank you for uh, gifting me with this. So you have quite the story. Did you grow up in Canada? I came when I was four years old. OK. Where are you from originally? Well, I came from Lebanon. Lebanon. Yeah. Did you see a lot of changes there? Um, let's just say in Lebanon, you grow up with, you don't grow up with dolls. You grow up with, we used to collect the bullets on the ground. Yeah, it was a rough life, but, but you're happy as a child. You don't realize it. You don't realize back. what you have you until you're in a different it. environment. Yeah. Do you have children now? I have grown children, two yeah. grown children. Yeah. How old are they? 25 and 29. Okay. They got married young and they got pregnant right away. Right, right. Uh, so what inspires you to write? My beginning, as I said, is I got inspired by God when I lost everything. But what inspires me to write is love. Love inspires me. My story is a love story. I have uh, a rags to riches love story, which I write about. Okay. And also the book that inspires me is Song of Songs. Song of Songs. It's a love story okay. about a royal wedding. So which is the first of your? My first book is Come Away, My Love. Okay. My second book is Come With Me, My Love. And my third book is My First Love. Oh, so they, do they all connect? Are they? They all connect, yes. Okay. And so what, what is the basis of the first book as it builds the story? They're all actually, it's very unique. They're all individual poems, but each poem connects. It's one continual poem, and it tells a love story about a royal wedding. OK. I believe we're all a rags to riches. I try to tell people we're all royal, we're all excellent. We need to take our position Absolutely. in that royalty. So it's a metaphor. OK, so describe the characters in the book. It's, it's a typical Cinderella prince, princess story. OK. Yeah. It's a happy ending, it's a, obviously. Of course. Yes. It keep, and it keeps going and going. And it keeps going and going. Okay, yeah. so you're on your fifth book now. Yes. Okay, and what's the title of that book? Love Is. Love Is. What does love mean to you? Oh. Um, I believe love is the answer to our question. I believe love is the end to our quest. So many things. I believe love is extraordinary, and the power of love makes us extraordinary. I mean, you can go on and on. There's no... Um, and to love. Okay. Yeah. And well, love, it inspires you. It inspires me. Love keeps me going. Love transcends and it's uh, transcends. limitless. Yes. yes. Okay. What makes you different from other authors? I definitely see a style developing. Besides but. the style, I have no formal training in writing. So I take all my inspiration from my heart. I don't follow any script. And I'm also inspired from God. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So it's completely unique. Okay. Yeah. So what's the next step for you? I want to, actually I'm talking about making a movie. Ah, look at that. Story. Yeah. 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 And, and how is that going? You're still in the talks? I'm still in the talks. Yeah. Yes. But uh, I think uh, that's an incredible story mm -hmm. that you have. How do your children feel about your path now? Like, so they've seen... We're all doing amazing actually, because we all went through a bumpy road in that divorce time. But they, they're excited about their lives, about my life. They're proud of me. Do, do you have love in your life? Of course. If you don't have love in your life, you can't write about love. OK. Do you have a love life? <laughs> <laughs> I did have a first love. And it's still continuing. Yes. OK. All right. Great it's something gets rocky, but yes. Don't they all? Yeah. But that, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. All right. And where can people go and buy the books? Um, Ananita.com. You can find me there okay. on my website. And you have gifts for all of us, right? Yes, I have a love stone for each person. All right. I'd like to do that. Good stuff. <laughs> what would you advise someone uh, who is thinking about writing their first book? I've written a book, and I know there's a lot involved. But what would you tell someone who's thinking about doing that? Uh, you need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in your dreams. You need to have faith in God. You need to know yourself. And perseverance. Just yeah. don't. I've learned to smile at criticism in my journey. Did you receive criticism from your books? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. You have lots of critics. 
Yeah, but it, it makes you thick-skinned at the end of the day. It makes and, you stronger. Yeah. It makes you stronger. That's why you need to know yourself. Um, you need to... I, I, I needed a higher spiritual power okay. myself. Okay. And, um, yeah, so know yourself. Know yourself. Don't let, don't let anybody talk you out of it. You get a lot of naysayers. Okay. You need to just keep persevering but, and follow your love, follow your passion, follow your dreams. Yeah, and once you're, you're uh, tuning in with your true self, uh, all the wonderful gifts from God do come in the yes. universe come and they, they put you in the right place yeah. and you're meeting the right people and yeah. the right doors are opening. So You never have everything at the beginning. You're never going to have a moment that you, you have everything to start with. You take what you have to start. I started with a dollar. This is what I started with. That's all it cost. And as you follow your dreams, the universe opens up the doors. Mm -hmm. And things are given to you. It gives you, you validation are. that you're on the right track. So yes. here's some more. Yeah. Yes. A little I bit never knew time. I was going to write a book. I just started writing. Yeah. And yeah. I, now I'm going to make a movie. And, and now you're going to make a movie. Yeah. That's beautiful. I congratulate you. you. Uh, keep up the great work. And uh, I look forward to reading this. Thank you. And find out the information by going to AnnaAnita.com. Thanks again. Thank you. The Nikki Clark Show, transforming lives one story at a time. If you would like to be a guest or become a part of our live studio audience or even to become a sponsor, just go to www.nikkiclarknetwork.com.